It's a really exciting night. I'm down at the spot in Covent Garden, and I'm with Fred Williamson, and this whole night is in honor of him. It's a 70s night. He's over from the States. Hi, Fred. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Listen, I've heard you're called The Hammer. Now, this is a kickback from your kind of uh, football days, but it's gone through to your films. How did this happen? Well, it's from trying to kill people, decapitate them on the football field. It was a blow that I described perpendicular to the Earth's latitude. So if I hit somebody, I struck them like that. Serious? Don't straight upset out, you. Straight out serious. <laughs> now listen, you didn't start out as an actor, did you? You started out something to do with architecture and then kind of moved on. Why no, did that happen? I started out as a football player. And from football to architecture. But then um, I decided I didn't want a job. I want to be like you. I, wanted, I did not <laughs> want a, a, a one hour off for lunch. So I wanted something that allowed me maximum freedom, have some fun, at the same time make money. One night I was watching television. I saw Diane Carroll, Julia show. And I said, I think I'll go to Hollywood and become Diane Carroll's boyfriend on the Julia show. I went to Hollywood three weeks later. I was her boyfriend for two years. How do you do it? Attitude. Everything in life is attitude. You're going to teach me attitude? Well, you have to be as <laughs> egotistical as I am and as vain as I am, and then it comes easy. Fred, yes. you are known as the black icon action man of the 70s. I am? Wow. Let's forget the icon. Let's talk about the action man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the 70s, heroes were needed at that particular time. It was not a good period in America for blacks. The late 60s and mid 70s was not a good period for blacks. There, there were sick and dogs on blacks. There was a lot of riots. Uh, any three or four blacks walking down the street was constituted as a riot, so they got arrested. So they needed heroes. They were looking for heroes. And you were the hero. Well, because the kind of movies that I made, I won the fight. Like I said, yeah. I didn't die. I won the fight. So you didn't bow to Hollywood, and you won, didn't you? I didn't care about Hollywood. I was doing it my way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was doing it what I wanted, and so I became a hero to them because I was doing on the screen what they wanted to do in real life. And listen, you're not just kind of a hero to all these people in America because actually people like Quentin Tarantino, who are now pretty famous in their own right, were influenced by people like you in the 70s, aren't they? Well, it's called respect and appreciation for all the hard work that I've done and the kind of unique characters that I play and, and created. He has incorporated a lot of characters that I did in the 70s and some of the films that he's made. Sure. And you've worked with him too now? I worked with him from dusk till dawn. Talk I, about that movie to me. Well, what was I mean, your involvement? Uh, it, well, there was a lot of crazy people in that movie, so I figured I might as well jump in there too. <laughs> since you they crazy call too? Me, yeah, they call <laughs> me that, you know. Anybody that's controversial is automatically crazy. So <laughs> Harvey Keitel fit in there, Re Roberto Rodriguez did. Quentin is called that, so we all work very well together. Bit of a party. The party was after filming. Every uh -huh. night we went to dinner and told a lot of lies and had a really good time. Every night after filming? Every night. Every night. Every night. Can I have a part in your next movie? <laughs> Uh, we're working on that. I don't like that hesitation. <laughs> Fred, thank you very much. It's been great to meet you. Have a All good right. time in London. We'll miss you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.